What's up guys, Reckless here, welcome to Guardian Watcher. So, it is the weekly reset, but more importantly, it is the very first Iron Banner for Shadowkeep. And we'll be able to go into all of that in just a second, but let's go ahead and get all of these uh, challenges out of the way. As for the tower, we need to go ahead and complete eight bounties for the Vanguard, same with the Crucible, as well as uh, do eight bounties for the Gunsmith. Coming over to Ikora, we need to go ahead and collect 100% of Vex parts, as well as earn 5,000 XP for your clan, as well as get eight bounties for a Gambit. Now, if you are over, I wanna say, um, 900, probably even 930, the point of doing legendary engrams is useless, so don't even bother. Coming over to IO. We have your uh, Heroic Adventure, which is Cliffhanger. And we also have your Flashpoint. And you can do this by completing Public Events, Lost Sectors, and Heroic Adventures. If you do the Heroic versions of the Public Events, you can get this done a lot quicker. Coming down to the Vanguard. We need to go ahead and complete three strikes, as well as complete five um, Nightfall the Ordeals, as well as get one Nightfall of the Ordeal with 100,000 points. And obviously you can choose whatever ones you want and that will choose the modifiers on them for this. Coming down to Gambit, we need to go ahead and complete three Gambit matches and that is Gambit or Gambit Prime. Crucible. We actually, better yet, let's go look at this. We have Iron Banner. Now, it is very, very, very important that you guys do Iron Banner this uh, because of the simple fact of Iron Banner is another way for you to get Pinnacle Gear, and this gear will actually get you over 950 power, or light, or whatever you want to call it. So definitely, definitely grind um, this out as much as possible, and you actually have to complete four uh, rotator matches, as well as complete four core matches um, it doesn't have to be survival. I know there's another one that does core uh, labs, does core as well. Uh, and also, do not forget, it is also additional valor this week. So, yeah, grinding out will be amazing. And definitely do Iron Banner because it's going to be huge. And not to mention the gear for Iron Banner. Look at it. It's on the right side of the screen. It looks amazing. <laughs> it really, really does. So definitely go ahead and grind that out um, because that gear just looks wow. <laughs> and I actually put another picture of the gear on the screen as well. Next, we have the moon. You need to go ahead and complete Luna's Calling for um, Eris. Nothing else here. Oh, wait, I take that back. There is. Huh? And then we need to go ahead and complete three Nightmare Hunts. I apologize for that. I totally disregarded that. I'm sorry. And for those who are wondering, Petrovenge is located in the Strand on the Dreaming City. So let's see what Lord Saladin has for us this week. So we have four bounties, Oath of the Pack, Around the Fire, Iron Confidence, as well as the Route. And all of these give you Pinnacle Gear, like I said, which makes you go over 950. So definitely go ahead, pick these up as, oh wait, what's going on? Ah, I'm Glimmer Broke. <laughs> I gotta go visit Spider. Anyways, pick these up as well. Um, also, we do have a pursuit down here as well uh, called Score the Rust. And uh, so opponents defeated, zones captured, and super final blows. So I'm going to pick that up. And when I get Glimmer, I'll actually come back for this. <laughs> Let's go ahead and preview what's in the engrams. So, oh my God, look at, look at the hunter. Oh my God, you look so sexy. I probably would wear this gear and never take it off. Because that just looks amazing. I really think that the Iron Banner gear probably looks a lot better than all of the rest of the gear in the game. And that's 
that's a long stretch, especially since Shadowkeep just came out. Um, as you can see, there are no new weapons. Everything is still old Iron Banner weapons, and that's fine. I I'm perfectly fine with that, you know. Um, but this gear, oh my god, it it's just amazing. Now let's actually see. So you can't put mods on it like any other gear because it is Armor 2.0. Um, but what is also amazing is you can actually put default ornaments on it as well. So if you like want a different look of the gear, you can also do that. And it doesn't have to be the specific. I actually like this one. That that looks pretty badass. I'm probably going to use this one with the rest of the gear too. But we'll just see. So let's see what Tess Everest has for us this week. So starting with the weekly offerings, we have the Spring Showers emotes. Why didn't they bring this out during the springtime when it's fall? Makes no sense to me. Anyways, then we have the big blind ornament for the Ace of Spades. Oh, that looks nice. That looks beautiful gold. Uh, then we have the uh, Polemology for the Queen Breaker. And I think this is the fucking... Oh my god. This thing is amazing looking on the Queen Breaker. Coming down, we have the uh, Refashioned Shapes ship. This looks... Oh! Oh my god, I want it. I want it so bad. Take my money. Just, just just, take it. Oh my god. And then we have the Harper Shell, which makes your shell look like a mini harpy. I want this too! Oh my god, that looks so cool! And it's been so long since I actually said something like that. Especially about a ghost shell. <laughs> and then we have your Nostalgic Anagram. Coming down here for your Bright Dust, we have your Gleaming Boon of the Vanguard of the Crucible. Then we have the, uh... Bruised... I hope that's Bruised Blush. <laughs> and then we have the Polished Sea Stone Shader. Then we have the Nightmare Emergence Transmat Effect. And then we have the Lander Shell for the Ghost. Not... It's pretty decent, I guess. Not as cool as, uh... The Harper shell. And then we also have the flare gun. That's literally all it is. That's boring. Coming down seasonal offerings. Seasonal offerings are all the same every season. So go ahead and pick those up if you want to uh, have a lot of these ornaments or emotes. Um, but if you wait, then these could pop up in the uh, Bright Dust, so you don't have to worry about spending silver. Archive, same. Uh, bright Dust for uh, the week. So, we have Happy Feet. Oh my god! This is going to be the new emote I use when destroying people in Crucible. Oh, I wish it played like a little bit of music too. That'd be awesome. Then we have the invasive species uh, vehicle. Nah, it's okay. And then we have the uh, Sela N ship. Or Shella N? I don't know. Shella? Yeah, whatever. I, I don't know how to pronounce that. Don't mind me. I'm not here to pronounce things. Then we have the Mind Barge uh, vehicle. Nah, it's okay. Then we have the Ronin, which is the ornament for the Izanagi's Burden. Looks pretty cool. I got it. Then we have the... I am not going to say that. <laughs> per Floor Flu Carbon. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> we have this ornament for the Oxygen SR3. <laughs> oh. Plafloral Carbon. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, 
Perfluoro. <laughs> I'm sorry, still trying to do it. <laughs> Perfluoro carbon. There we go. It's the Perfluoro carbon. <laughs> Oh my god, I hate you, Bungie. Then we have the 3 as 1 projection. Oh my god. Coming down here, we have the Lehman Boon of the Vanguard, Lehman Boon of the Crucible. Then we have the Jungle Viper Shader. And the Harpy's Cry Transmat Effect. I like that. I actually do. Uh, then we have the Flavado Core. I hope that said that wrong. Oh, right. Sorry. <laughs> I always said that right, not wrong. <laughs> then we have the uh, Coral Rabbit Transmat Effect. And then last but not least, the only the finest Transmat Effect. Actually, looks pretty cool. And then down here for your campaign is just let you know everything that you have for um, Destiny. All the campaigns that you have bought. So, real quick, a couple days ago, if you did not know, it was National Come Out Day. And no, I'm not coming out. Technically, I'm not even in. However, I do support those who have come out, whether they be friends, family, or even you guys. And because of this, Bungie actually had a pin on their um, Bungie store, and I actually bought it. And you also get this emblem that actually came with it. And I don't know, as of this video, whether it's still available or not, but... In the event that it's not available, I will be doing a giveaway for the pin itself. And what you guys need to do is go ahead and sound off in the comments section below on YouTube and let me know something interesting about you. Nothing too personal, because I don't want people, you know, going crazy about it. But just let me know something interesting about you. And whoever has the most interesting uh, comment, I will go ahead and make you the winner. And that, my friends, brings us to the end. Toss a like on the video if you enjoyed it, subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss out on any new videos. Also, go ahead and join the Red Room Discord. It's a growing Destiny 2 LFG community that allows content creators and streamers to gain more exposure, and you can also contact me there as well. A link to the Discord will be in the description box below. I'm Reckless, and I will see you guys in the next video.